Thank you, Mr. Fisher, and uh, good morning, everyone. Reverend fathers, parents, teachers, loved ones, fellow graduates, and everyone else attending this momentous event, I would like to welcome you on behalf of the Dr. Martin the Boldest graduating class of 2015. It is a pleasure to salute this fine-looking and accomplished class you see before you, and to kick off the upcoming celebrations. First off, a special thanks is owed to the organizers of this graduation, Ms. Nishnik and her team of many volunteered so much of their time during these past months. Thank you. During my high school career, I always thought it was a wise decision to end an essay with a super deep quote. As if I made some illuminating connection with the literature. Heck, I think some of the best ones actually came from Mr. Fisher during period two announcements. But today, I'm going to start with a more prosaic quote from William S. Burroughs. The aim of education is the knowledge, not of facts, but of values. And with that in mind, I would like to welcome the clergy members and spiritual leaders in our lives. Thank you for all the time you put towards guiding us. We all appreciate the moral example you've shown us. You invested so much in us, and it's up to us in this next stage to make a return on in that investment in the choices we make by living the examples you've shown us. But I'd like us to go even further than that. I'd like to challenge each one of us setting off today to do more than follow the example we've been shown. Let's show the moral courage and the determination to stand up for what is right, what's truly good, even when it's not a popular choice, or may make us look awkward or feel uncomfortable. Going to school masses was one of the best decisions I made throughout high school. I know I took a chance, but I am grateful I went because the peace and the serenity of the chapel gave me perspective and renewed energy. And for that matter, I hope that if any of you ever find yourself desperate, lost, or without hope, that you always remember that there will be God in the church to turn to for love. They will welcome you with open arms. And now, to our parents. You love us enough to keep us around, even after coming home to an unusually large group of us studying late at night with potentially beverages in hand and loud music in the background. We thank you and welcome you. And not just for letting us use your house for our shakes, our study methods, but more or less for the unconditional love you have shown us and given us. You helped us through our chaotic lives and imparted valuable knowledge, especially your notes on the difference between normal and slurred speech very late at night. Thank you. If I may take license, audience work, you are our north, our south, our east, our west, from yesterday's diapers to today in our Sunday best. When someone sees good in us, it's really a measure of you. And speaking of seeing good, look at this class before you. But hold your applause. As a group, we've decided that we would prefer financial tuition contributions. <laughs> and so, those we'll see less frequently in the future, but who are cheering us on every day for the past four years. The boldest faculty, you are the best. No, seriously, what better teachers are there in China or anywhere? Thank you. Thank you especially, actually, to the teachers of chemistry, the most difficult class with probably the lowest final marks. We noted that as our, over time, as our understanding of chemistry went up, our mark in the class actually went down. Thanks a lot. <laughs> to the office support staff, your kindness and optimism made us want to deliver the attendance sheet when we had substitute teachers promptly at the beginning of class. It wasn't always just a skip class. To the principals who kept discipline structure in the school, we welcome you, even for those times when your gentle influence was in fact in the form of a parking ticket. To the teachers who helped with extracurriculars, your invested time and commitment has been instrumental in our personal development as young adults. An extended thank you to Ms. Bodu for helping me bring back the debate team, and for that matter, to all my teachers, 
who helped me practice debate year round over exam marks. Thanks. <laughs> and lastly, to my fellow graduates, we are officially the class of 2015. From the team dances to the unsanctioned senior events, we have made some great memories. And these are the memories that we will never forget, or for the select few, will unfortunately never remember. <laughs> it has been a blast, and you are all marvelous. This day marks the end of our four year journey together, but the beginning of a new chapter, and one without the constant, persistent, sometimes overwhelming, but generous guidance from our parents. We must now begin to live independently. And while this will not come without its challenges, it will also be the most fulfilling thing we do. We now set out in all directions as captains, whether by land, air, or sea, masters of our own destinies. We must lean on each other for examples, inspiration, and support as we work towards our full potential. I hope to see you all again, and next time on the cover of Forbes. I welcome and salute you all. Keep it real class.